In November 2010, Hanson Youngkin was appointed Managing Contractor for the new Youth Training Centre at Cavan in South Australia. Built on a vacant site of 7.7 .7 hectares on Goldsboro Road, this Youth Training Centre will safely and securely accommodate young offenders, women and men aged between 14 to 18 years old. The centre is a 60 bed unit, built as five 12 bed accommodation blocks, but with the flexibility to be turned into 10 6 bed blocks, with room to add additional beds in the future. At the front of the site, the main reception building, which is traditionally known as the Gatehouse, manages all movement in and out of the centre. The main reception building comprises a sally port for entry of young residents entering the centre with police or court representatives. The main reception building comprises high level security throughout, including a secure entry pedestrian control area with contraband screening, x-ray, biometric verification and security scanning of all staff, residents and visitors entering the centre. This state of the art equipment is managed from the control room located within this building. The health centre comprises a variety of services. There is a pharmacy and a commercial standard central kitchen equipped for production of residents' meals. The visitors' building comprises private breakout rooms for family consultation sessions, rooms for non-contact conversations, a multi-faith room and a large area for activities looking out to a playground built for the resident's siblings. All residents will be required to undertake schooling in classrooms located in the education centre. This is an important part of the Young Residents Rehabilitation Program. The education program provides a range of requirements such as primary school, secondary school and remedial education delivered by qualified teachers. What sets this new centre apart from the rest is the standard and range of recreation areas, an outdoor playing field, a basketball court, an indoor gymnasium and a swimming pool. The accommodation buildings are perhaps the most important building in the facility. Um, it's these buildings where the young people spend their time unsupervised so the construction in, in these particular buildings is particularly robust with uh, precast concrete and concrete field block work walls. We work with uh, Perumal Petavoli, the lead consultant, in assessing a number of different custodial locking mechanisms. The department wanted to replace some really some old technology and certainly uh, come up with a door locking mechanism that was going to be uh, future proof and, and really state of the art. The result is a neat, functional, high security door assembly with a more domestic look and feel that will make a positive contribution to the ongoing operation of the Youth Training Centre and is also likely to be replicated in future juvenile justice and correctional facilities. We've had a really good Hanson Youngkin team on this project. Um, eight guys, uh, a mixture of experienced and young guys, young guys that are really keen to listen and learn throughout the process. I'm pretty excited about the entire development. We started this project wanting to have the best facility um, nationally and, and potentially internationally, and I believe we've done that. The Plan Centre Young can made ultimate opportunities for us to go and visit the centre, visit the plans, introduce us to all of the team. That was really important, you know, of understanding people's roles on the project, but also as well from a construction point of view, they really ensured that we had the value and the knowledge of knowing uh, who the team were and what they were delivering. Um, ultimately as well, I think the biggest value that we've added is the collaboration and partnership that we've demonstrated. A collaborative delivery approach was adopted for this project and has led to many successful outcomes. A handover two months ahead of schedule, a high quality centre that is fit for purpose and new innovative designs for robust fittings, fixtures and equipment. The team worked exceptionally well during the commissioning phase for the security throughout the centre, which was both complex and demanding in terms of program. 
the project team committed to a design and construction that reflects sustainability and future-proofing. It's a project of which Hanson Yunkin is exceptionally proud to have delivered a timely, value-for-money outcome for the state.